Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reba. This time I'm showing you something from Equivalent Exchange. This is the Energy Collector. And for this you'll need a furnace, a glass block, six glowstone blocks, and a block of diamond. So this is a very expensive thing to make and you arrange them like this and it creates the Energy Collector. And the energy collector has an EMC value of 82,953 and looks a lot like a glowstone block. It used to be known as the glowstone aggregator before it was renamed. And its purpose is to take in sunlight, or any light for that matter, and transform it into EMC. As you can see here, this number is the internal storage of the EMC. It generates 4 EMC per second at maximum capacity, as dictated by this little sun here. And it has a maximum storage of 10,000 EMC. This GUI may look confusing, particularly with the symbol in the background, but it's very simple to use. You place fuel items in here, and it will use the stored EMC to upgrade them to the next one along. The lowest form is charcoal with an EMC of 32, redstone, EMC 64, coal, EMC 128, gunpowder, EMC 192, glowstone dust, EMC 384, alchemy fuel, alchemical coal at 512, blaze powder at 768, glowstone blocks at 1536, then Alchemy Fuel, Mobius Fuel at 2048, and then finally Atenalis Fuel at 8192. For example, if I put the charcoal in here, like so, it upgraded it to redstone at the cost of 32, then at cost of 64 up to coal, and etc. And the total stored produced alchemical coal. And this is effectively free upgrading. What this space here does is it allows you to set a target. For example, if I want gunpowder, I can put in redstone and it'll upgrade it to a maximum of gunpowder. And then I can put in coal. And again, it goes up to gunpowder and doesn't go any further. I can change that. And as you can see, here's the progress bar. And it's slowly filling up. So I can put that in there. And then when this stack is fully transformed, it moves into the output stack and brings the next one along. And this is what this is, this is the queue. It goes across like that, so if I place in these items, you can see how it stacks up. For maximum EMC generation, it needs to be in full daylight, so as you can see it has clear view to the sky, and thus is at full. However, here at night, it is still receiving light from the nearby torches, but it's not working at maximum speed. As you can see, this number is going up slower. As you can see here, I'm in a dark room, and the energy collector gives off some light of its own, enough to fill it about halfway. If you place a torch on top of it, it goes up to maximum, as it does if you place a glowstone block on top. However, glowstone blocks are very expensive. A much cheaper solution is using a jack lantern which is less than 200 EMC each. So as far as equivalent exchange is concerned, it is the better option, and it produces maximum light. So you can have your energy collectors working at maximum capacity 24 hours a day. It's worth noting that if there's a fuel that cannot be upgraded, such as Atanalis fuel, in the way, or if you have a target something that matches it, it will clog up the entire thing, and the EMC will begin to pool. Be sure to regularly empty your energy collectors to get the most out of them. To destroy an energy collector, use any pickaxe, and it breaks relatively easily, dropping everything inside it. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube comment, and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Catch you later.